on this road, loose stones, says 35 miles per hour. I got pulled over by the cops for the going 35 miles per hour on a stone that's clearly marked and they advised me to go 55. I'm going to be uh, posting this to Facebook and I'm going to call the police department because the sign says loose stones 35 on this road. Hard to see the road, but it's loose stones, but it's not very, you can go fast. Yeah, this is Melton. Yeah, what, what, what happened? They have signs up on Plains Road, says loose stones 35. I was, you know, it's a kind of old sign, but still up there. I've been following it, saying 35. Been going, uh, the cop pulled me over, saying it's 55 stretch. But the signs out there is, clearly says 35 loose stones. Okay. Do you know, when, when did you get pulled over? Uh, right before midnight tonight. I would say about 11.45-ish. Right around that time frame. Then I walked down there, I made sure, yep, the signs are up. Clearly it says loose stones 35. Where, where, where were you at, sir? I'm on, on Plains Road, on the Plains Road itself. I, I get that. What, where, what, what's across the street? Oh, uh, Gail. Gail is across the street. Was it 11.45? Yes, right around that time frame. Because they ran my name. Huh? What color, what color uniform was the deputy wearing? I want to say brown, but I can't quite tell. Because, you know, it's nighttime. But he was nice. He was friendly, but he said, you need to go 55. But I, thought, I said, this is a 35 stretch because of loose stones. He said, no, it's 55. Then I went I walked back out there, looked. Yep, it's still up there, loose stones, 35. That's my yeah, concern. So, so, I'm not, so I'm not debating what you're telling me at all. I'm just trying to figure out who stopped you because I don't, I'm not finding anything. I want you to or, run uh, Eaton County too. Maybe it was from Eaton County because it was following me. No, it, it stopped me in Ingham County, but it might have been Eaton County. Were you going eastbound? Going towards a uh, Plains Road, yes. When I saw... Was. Were, you, were you coming, uh, were you going towards, like, Mason? Yes, yes, I would be heading that way. When I saw, when it hit that part of the plane where it's gravel road, that's when I slowed down to 35. So we, we haven't had anybody that's been out there. We've been pretty busy, and so I don't think it was, it, it was Ingham County. It could be uh, Ingham County, because he ran yeah. my name and, uh, you know, information. Yeah, so I have no way to get what they what they did without just having you straight call them. I don't want to think I want to chase for it, but I don't have another good way to do it. So let um, you're, that's in Ingham County where you're at there at Plains and Gale. However, it's only a mile into Ingham County. Yes. If you're going eastbound, there's a good chance that they seen you or uh, followed you from uh, from Eaton County there. So. That's what I'm thinking. We wear black uniforms now. They're all black with gray. Okay. We don't wear the we don't wear the brown uniforms anymore. So that'd be a really good way to if you could have seen his uniform at all. If it was. Uh, I want to say brown. I want to say yeah, brown. So that's, that's probably still Eaton County. Um, would you I, like me to try to look up a phone number for Eaton County for you? I, I can Google. I can Google it. Um, then I can call them and tell them the thing. Well, so I get kind of where you're coming from on on that. So uh, just to, it, it might even save you your time with it. Uh, the, the way it kind of works is the 35 is not mandatory. Uh, oh, did not know that. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a recommended because of that. The speed limit would still be 55. Oh. Uh, however, the road conditions don't really warrant 55, especially when they just put the stone down. No, it's been for a little while. I was waiting for the sign to be removed, but I don't I have to obey those signs that when it says we do, so I can just go my regular speed limit. Well, it, it, unless it actually covers up the speed limit and it's like a construction-type zone, but those other ones are... But, but the other part of it is that there's a lot of people that are going 35 yes. uh, down, a, down a country road, not a highway, a country road, yeah. there's technically no law that says that you have to go above a speed limit as well. Does it have to go above 255? I go. How low can I go with that type of range? About 45 would be okay. 
you definitely would be okay. I mean, okay. Like I said, there's no speed limit. So, so my, so here, my guess, my guess is, it's still a guess. Somebody going 20 miles per hour under the speed limit, that no indication that person is intoxicated. Exactly, but I was just obeying the law. <laughs> you know, I thought that was law, but now I know the difference. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I see where you're coming from. So, you obviously have all the right to call Eaton County if you uh, would like to still talk with them. You, you know, you're more than welcome to do that. I hope that I maybe could answer some questions for you tonight to clear some things up as well. Um, but, it's, but it's totally, totally your call with that on, on how you want to handle it. But you kind of answered my question. Now I don't have to worry about those signs. Okay. Unless it's yeah, very well, loose, then I would obey it. But. Yeah, so, but, but understand, though, if you're going 55 and you, and you lose it in that gravel, you're going to be responsible for that crash because they're telling you, hey, you probably should slow down. It's kind of like the... Catch-22. Uh, <laughs> well, it's kind of like the curved roadways. Right. If you go into a curve that, that's a pretty good curve, it's going to say, you know, 35 mile per hour curve. And what that's doing is telling you, hey... Slow down. Going through there because the curve is, you know, you can't take it at 55. Right. Now, if you take it at 45, we're not going to pull you over and say you were speeding on that curve. However, if you crash, you know, because you're doing 45, you know, you're not in complete control of your car and you need to be responsible. Right. Does that help you out at all? Yeah, it helps me out big time. Thank you for uh, taking okay. the time and explaining that to me. No, I'm, I don't need to. I got the information from you. Thank you very much. Okay. No from this conversation, you can hear when I got pulled over, it was a bogus stop from the cop.